Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be changing the background of your iPad. So let's get started. Under your settings, we're going to go right down until we see wallpaper. Just tap on wallpaper. And the very first option will say choose a new wallpaper. So let's just go right into there. It's the very first option. And then we have two things dynamic and stills. Now we don't have those live wallpapers as we would in iPhone or iPod Touch. However, we still do have dynamic wallpapers. So let's go right into there before we get into anything else. So under dynamic, we're gonna see all these. And then if we go into stills, we're gonna see all these guys. And if we want any pictures from our iPad itself, we can go into all photos, for example. And under all photos, we can get started and choose any of these. So I can scroll down and see all my pictures. And let's say I really like this Fortnite one. Right now it's giving me a preview of how it's gonna look under my lock screen. Now I can set this for my lock screen and my background at the same time. So on the bottom right hand side, I'm gonna see set. So let's just tap on set. And then it's gonna give me these two options, or I should say three options. Set as lock screen, set as home screen, and set both. So your home screen would be your background, and your lock screen would be this before you actually go into your apps and everything that's your lock screen so let's just set it to both for now and there we go so right now it's set up you guys can see that as my background and also for my lock screen this is my lock screen right here so i go right into it this is my background so that's the difference between lock screen and background now let's go back into your set Go back into wallpaper, choose wallpaper. And this time what I'm gonna do is go into dynamic and show you what dynamic is all about. So if I want this, for example, I'm gonna set as both. You will see that it kind of moves around and that's what dynamic is all about. So I'm gonna go back into any one of these dynamic ones just to show you. And it's almost like a video what you're looking at right now. And that's what dynamic is all about. And this is a preview and the preview is always gonna be in your lock screen. So let me just get out of this for now and show you how that changed. So here it is, here's my dynamic background and it's always gonna be moving slightly, kind of like a video. Now let's go back and we're gonna go into stills. Stills do not move, that's why they're called stills. So let's just choose the very first one this time we're gonna set this as my home screen however not my lock screen so that means only only my background will change right here but not my lock screen so my lock screen is gonna be different than my home screen so here is my lock screen and if i go right into my ipad i'm gonna see right here my background so you guys could see there is a difference right now because of the setup we just did so let's just go back again and this time we're gonna choose. So what I'm gonna end up choosing right down here below is this blue one. Set, and I'm gonna set it to both. So now my lock screen plus my home screen are the same thing. And that's how the background looks like. Anyways, that's how you guys can do any custom background or any dynamic or any stills background. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to do. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.